Okay, so today's gonna be another day in the life. So today I'm making up and fitting door linings and I'll also be fitting a fire door. I am running a little bit late, so I'm gonna get straight into it. I'm at the job now, so I'll just go in and show you what I'm doing today. Okay, so I'll be fitting a door frame here. And I'll be fitting a door frame here. So yeah. I'll also be fitting a fire door and frame to this opening. On this occasion, I got the materials the night before, so I'm gonna take out all the materials, get a work area sorted, take out all the tools I need, and then get cracking with the job. starting a bit late because I was up late yesterday and it's a Sunday me and apprentice still do have our clothing line just grafting born for greatness so if you like what I'm wearing you can go to the store it will be linked down below but yeah I'm tired I'm just gonna crack on with this job so first off I'm gonna make up and then fit the two door linings. As usual, so the video doesn't get too long, I will do a quick edit to show you how I do my door linings and I'll also throw some tips. Hope you enjoy. Once I've made up the first lining, I check how it looks in the opening and get cracking with the next one. Nice.
<laughs> okay, so I had to go for a little bit because the customer was here, the client was here, and he had to go through stuff with me and the other guy. So, yeah, um, wasn't able to record. So, but I've put the door frame in now. I've had to pack it out a little bit. I'm gonna pack it out on this side as well. But that's one door frame in, and I'm also gonna um, do the top as well. Do a little frame so the plasterers can come and plasterboard it. Same with that one down here. But you'll see when I get to that anyway, but that one is done now and I'm just gonna go do the other one really quick and then I'm gonna do upstairs and then I'm gonna do all the frames together and then after I'm gonna fit the door upstairs as well. So yeah, so still a bit to do but yeah. Getting there. So right now I'm going to quickly run through how to fit a door lining. Now this is quite simple so I'll just quickly run through. First I get my door lining in the opening. On this occasion I'm putting the door lining up against the plasterboarded wall and checking all my levels. Because the stud work was plumb I didn't need to pack out anything but normally you would pack out and ensure that everything's plumb with the packers. Once I'm sure that everything's plumb, I just secure the frame, ensuring that there is about a 3mm overhang from the plasterboard to allow for the thickness of the plaster once it's applied. see it is all level and this side is all level fixed on inside now I just need to pack out this side put some wedges in and then pack it out and then that'll be fine I'm gonna just make up some timber wedges and then put them in yeah. Once I've cut up the timber wedges, I just plumb up the jam, ensuring that both sides are plumb. Now, when fixing the top light blocks, I don't know about everyone, but I just screw to them. From my experience, the screw will be sufficient and will bite into the block without any plugs. Because top light blocks are more lightweight and not as dense as concrete blocks, I find that the plugs just spin when I try and plug and screw but you can try a plug I just like to screw and I've never had any problems once I've secured the jam and I know it's a hundred percent plumb I then cut off the overhang and do the rest Now that the two fire door linings are done downstairs, I then come upstairs to fit the final fire door lining and I also fit the fire door. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to have to play in the frame a little bit on this one. Oh, it's quite a lot. Oh crap. Take quarter of 
the inch off each side. I think this is all new, we would have cut it back. They should have moved it a bit more over. If they're putting a door here, can't get my door lining in. So on the last fire door lining, the problem I'm having, it's a non-standard opening. So I actually can't fit my door lining in. So I'm gonna have to plane it down and just try and get it in once I've trimmed it. So here, I'm just using my combination square to mark a line to guide me how much needs to be trimmed off each side of the door lining. I could trim it with my table saw, but I actually don't have my table saw with me on this occasion. Once I trimmed off the necessary amount, I got the door lining upstairs and got it in the opening. So you've already seen this process, so I'm not going to go into major detail. But here I'm just positioning the door frame, making sure it's all plumb and the distance is right. And then I just pack out and secure the frame as necessary. So the video doesn't get too long. I am going to do another edit. So hope you enjoy. For the smoke seals, I'm just using the tough built scissors, really nice, really handy and I'll just show you how it does. Now that 
that's done, shut in now, so I just need to put the door stops on, and then uh, that's it for today. I wasn't able, I can't do the top panel today because I actually don't have the timber for it, so yeah, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and just do the top panel. But yeah, that's it. While doing the door stops, I put a two mil packer on the door, put the door stop against the door so it leaves that two mil gap for one expansion and two, it's gonna be painted as well. So yeah. This door is done. What I'm gonna do is literally just clean up, pack up, and then I'm gonna come tomorrow and put the top panels on. So yeah. So yeah. Nice, easy day to be honest. I wouldn't say it was easy, but. <laughs> done so if you don't like hearing about prices now is the time to click off because I'm about to tell you how much I charge for this job so yeah in my last video a lot a lot a lot a lot of people says they still want to know the pricing side of things and yeah so I'll keep adding it I think it was only like one person that said they don't want to know but yeah um if you don't want to click off but i'm about to tell you how much i charge for this job invoices okay so for fitting the one fire door and fitting the three fire door linings as well as doing the top frames and plasterboarding one of the top frames i charged 500 pound and it took me two half a days or you could say one day in total but then you have to take into account the travel and everything and me getting the materials and everything like that but for it I charged 500 pound so yeah decent amount for basically one day or two half a days but I did work on a Sunday as well but yeah um 
500 pound that's how much I charged and then the materials came up to 332 pound I went to Salco never will I ever do that again because getting fire door linings and every getting everything from Salco seems to be expensive now it used to be really cheap but seems to be expensive but yeah cost 832 pound for the customer to get that done yeah and i keep all my receipts in a poly pocket book like this and all my invoices in the book as well because it just helps with my accounting so yeah um that's how much i charge a little bit like but a little bit about the channel um i do and i did try and get a video out every week but with so much jobs going on and TikTok, instagram i still need to do and everything like that all social medias it is a bit hard to get one video out a week so my goal is to get a video out every two weeks now which i have been doing but if I do make good time on all my jobs and everything goes smoothly and I'm able to edit a video um, it will be weekly kind of but I can promise every two weeks but I can't promise every week because it's just too too much stress and my Instagram TikTok down below and if you want to see more stuff like this like subscribe and all of that type of stuff so if you want to see me do this where i repair the steps at the same job or where i fit the fire doors at this job let me know leave in the comments and i'll make the video but yeah uh, until next time goodbye